<laughs> you say that before you hit like massive turbulence. I you, think ma- you don't well, think they come in handy? T- t- tell me what a seatbelt has ever done for you in all your flights in life. Well, it's made me uncomfortable. <laughs> what the most they part, ever maybe done not for him. You. Welcome back to WatchTheJunkies.com. I'm Adam Epstein, joined by Cakes from the Junkies. Today on the show, it started with Nats talk. You know they're struggling a little bit, but you guys covered a lot of the recent struggles. Yeah, I mean. This is a team that a lot of people thought was going to win the World Series, a favorite to win the World Series, and now they're looking up at the, the Mets in the standings, a place that a lot of people didn't think the Nats would be. But uh, they've had issues. Doug Fister was brutal last night. He's not the same pitcher he was last year. Uh, you need Strasburg back, and you need some of the principal guys like Zimmerman and Worth to start hitting. No, and I wouldn't want them to be desperate in a trade. And- I mean, if they're four or five games out right now, that's you know, a whole different story. But, you know, they're a game out. They're not playing well. They're going to play well at some point. And then you had former Notre Dame great Brady Quinn on the show, and he actually said that RG3 could actually be looking up this year. Yeah, he said if, if he had to make a place a bet, he would place it on RG3 this year. I, I like to bet. I like to gamble. I would not put my chips in <laughs> on RG3 at this point. I, I still think he needs to show us more as far as development, as far as being a pocket passer. And I think what a lot of people sleep on with RG3, he just can't stay on the field, can't stay healthy. If you're not there for every game, if you can't lead your team out of the field every single Sunday, you're not going to be a successful quarterback in the NFL. But in saying that, I, look, I think RG3 is going to have a great season. Yeah, I, really? I really do. I think he's. I, I do. I think he's been just you know, embattered with with injuries. He's, he's going to have an you know opportunity to actually adapt to uh, an off season of going through Jay Gruden's system and being able to continue to grow as a quarterback. And, and if I've got my money on, on RG three improving and being a better quarterback this season, I I, I got to do it this year. And then John Shambi, MLB, uh, on ESPN, play-by-play, telling us that Worth, Rendon, Zimmerman, two of those three guys need to get hot for the Nats to, you know, make the playoffs. Right. I mean, you can't have those core guys for your team hitting 205, 210. You can't have Ian Desmond stranding guys, uh, you know, in bases-loaded situations like he did against the D-backs last night. Those guys have to start hitting, and they have to start hitting soon. There's only about two months left in the season. I, there's, there's no solution here, fellas. It stinks, but, it, but like, those guys got to play better. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what it gets down to. They got to play better. All right, all this one. Watch the Junkies.com from 6 to 10 every morning.